In this 3 minute game review, we're looking at Yane Guard. So hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. Yane Guard is an early access turn based tactical RPG where you lead a band of peasants to rebel against an evil baroness in a bid to liberate your homeland. In the process, your peasants either become noble heroes or evil villains. The game has very rudimentary graphics. It's almost as if the developers just use basic placeholder assets for everything. If you're used to more modern and flashy looking games, Yangard is absolutely going to be an eyesore. There really isn't much in the way of sound effects. And aside from a handful of lines, most of the game isn't voiced. Thankfully, at least the soundtrack was well mixed and fitting of the fantasy setting. Gameplay is where Yangard really shines. You start with three randomly generated peasants each with their own unique backgrounds, which grant unique bonuses to certain stats and playstyles. You're given a quest to travel north, where you pick and choose the paths to take. Picking fights, uncovering treasures, resting at inns, and encountering strangers and side quests. Some encounters present you with choices where items, stats, skills, and most importantly, your character's personalities as they come into play and influence your chance of success or failure. Success grants rewards and safe passage, but failure in itself also grants new changes in personality and stats. So not every failed check is a bad one. Whether you choose to be honest or deceitful, lawful or chaotic, all of your intentional and unintentional actions and choices influence the stat and skill bonuses that your characters get in the game. Combat is pretty straightforward. You and the enemy AI take turns to move. Fights are engaged within tiles, and having too many units in one tile, or having a single unit isolated and alone, can be detrimental to your party's fighting abilities. Some spells and abilities have an area of effect, and can result in unwanted or intentional friendly fire. Probably the only downside, in my opinion, is the temptation to try and min-max every decision in the game in order to build the most overpowered characters. But personally, I took more of a role-playing approach, and it certainly has been a rewarding journey. The main story is a typical zero to hero David and Goliath type of tale, which is nothing new, but what makes it great is the way the gameplay and story influence each other. Yangard is extremely rough around the edges, and the level of complexity is daunting, but the bold design decisions that the developers took when it comes to intertwining the story development and gameplay is an extremely refreshing approach for the genre. I would recommend fans of turn-based RPGs to try Yangard especially if they can overlook its terrible graphics. If you're craving for more turn-based games, check out our other videos. Otherwise, like and subscribe for more 3-minute game reviews.